of Web City High School News, I'm Sarah Peterson. And I'm Kara Fisher. Coming up on this edition, we'll introduce some new teachers, introduce the nest, and take a look at some of the MSSU's latest renovations. But first, a big change this year at Web City has been Chromebooks for the students. Zach Volsky has more on the one to one initiative. Web City High School has taken a step into the modern. Each student has been issued a Chromebook, a small laptop with the ability to get onto the internet. We asked Nathan Dingman, the technology integration coach at Web City, about the Chromebooks. This is a tool for the students to be able to access information at any time and to be able to become a part of this digital world that we have coming upon us um, and getting them better prepared uh, for college or just real world applications because uh, everything's so technical now. This is the best tool that we could do feasibly with money and for just to get a device in front of the kids. Now don't just think of this as a tool for the students. It's also here as a benefit to the teachers. With the help of some programs and a little adaptation, it could be of great help to our faculty at Web City High School. Um, I lose things easily, so when my students, they've started sharing monologues with me, and uh, that means that they can get it to me any time of day, and I have got it at my fingertips at all times, so it helps us both. Every time. Now, if all this new technology at Web City High School, we at Web City News thought that it might be a good idea to get the opinion from a student. We can um, communicate with the teachers a lot more and find our assignments online instead of them just having to stand up in front of us and explain. Nathan Demon also stated that one of the primary reasons behind the new technology is to get us better adapted to web tools to help us in the future. This has been Zach Bolsky for Web City News. How do you feel about the Chromebooks this year? Honestly, I really enjoy the Chromebooks because I feel like my homework is all in one place and I feel like it's a great teaching tool. Definitely. For the school year, not only did we receive new Chromebooks, but we also received a handful of new teachers. Here's Maddie Perry with the introductions. The first day of school. Scary and thrilling for students and teachers alike. But what about all the new teachers here at Web City High School? For them, they're the new kids that just moved in from out of town. Hi, I'm Maddie Perry, and we here in the newsroom are finding out the new digs on all of the incoming teachers. A uh, thing that I take and clip to the top of my, because yeah. okay. if I don't look at it. This year, freshmen are not the only newbies coming into Web City High. There are over 10 new teachers teaching here on campus. One of the most important jobs we have as administrators is to get the best teachers in front of our students. Yeah. So we spend a lot of time in the spring looking through applications, interviewing applicants, and trying to find the very best teachers for our school. And we think we do a pretty good job of getting great teachers. When we asked teachers which was scarier, their first day as a high school student or as a high school teacher, this is what they had to say. I think my first day as a high school teacher was scarier because as a student you get to just walk in and, and you don't know what to expect and you just get people to tell you what to do and here you had to prepare and make sure that you knew what was going to happen even though I never worked with high school students before. So I had to figure out how to do something before having done it. But it was, it was a good day. Definitely as a high school teacher. <laughs> as a high school student. Definitely as a high school student. I, I, I changed from a smaller school to a larger school and it was kind of a rude awakening. Just, uh, just a big change in my life. But luckily I had people there that were were nice to me and helped me through it. We also spoke with Mr. David concerning the newest additions to the high school staff. I think we're off to an excellent start. Uh, we're very, very pleased. We walk around and uh, I think Web City's got an advantage that the candidates who apply to get jobs teaching here uh, are usually very well qualified and good teachers. In some other smaller districts, uh, less people apply where we have a large number of applicants for each position typically. Overall, this school year is a huge experiment with all the new teachers we have, but I believe this is going to be one of the best years at Web City High, and the graduating class will have a lot to talk about after this. I'm Maddie Perry, signing off for Web City News. And we wish all the new teachers the best of luck this year. It's happened to all of us at least once. We come to school and we didn't have time to eat breakfast. Or maybe it's after school and we need a pick-me-up. Problem solved, here's Taylor Arterburn with this new sweet edition. How many of you guys know about the Nest at Web City High School? It's ran by students, for students, and teachers. It's got a great variety of snacks and drinks with even better prices. 
Then that started my entrepreneurship class two years ago, and then it's just a conversation about businesses and why we don't have a better a business in school. Why can't we run our own business in school, and what would we do? So the conversation just took place, and um, I started thinking and looking into that a lot of schools had school stores. So I went to some school stores and checked them out and asked Mr. Dave, and he said, I think we should do that. So it just started. One of the best things the Nest offers is very reasonable prices. There's always something for sale that anyone can afford. We don't have anything over $2, unless you're buying like a gift card or something like that. And gift cards, teachers can buy $10 and the students can buy $5 cards. I think the most popular things that we sell are the cookies, um, two for a dollar, and then we sell the cappuccinos, Starbucks, um, the frappuccinos. Some things you don't know about, we have the Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches, Gatorades, apple juice, muffins, um, trying to think, gum, oatmeal. So there's a lot of products that we, we have, offer a lot of options. And the variety that the Nest has is something that the students at Web City say they like and it keeps them coming back. Thank you. I think that it's a really good idea because students can go there before or after school to get food or drinks or whatever they want in case they didn't eat breakfast or in case they're just hungry. I really like all the coffee drinks because they have a lot and I also like the food that they have there like they have breakfast sandwiches and muffins. As you can see, Ness is here to serve us all. It beats stopping at McDonald's and waiting in the drive through For Web City News, I'm Taylor Ardiburn. Boy, that made me hungry. Me too. This school year, we're excited to bring you the first of many newscasts. One of members of our cast, Bailey Cloyd, is here to take you behind the scenes. Web City High School is excited to announce a new way of getting the news to you and a new face is leading the way. Well, Web City News is something that we, uh, in our news class, are very excited to start this year. It's something we're going to do on a regular basis. Um, the length is yet to be determined, probably a couple of 10-minute newscasts and then possibly a 30-minute newscast as well, something we can put on YouTube and, and have a lot of people in the school and the Web City community to watch. It'll be stories about our school, our district, and our community. So something that me as a teacher and, and my students are very excited about. High expectations have been placed upon the class by themselves, and Mr. Vonderhaar couldn't agree with them more. Expecting very good things. So far, the, the students seem to be very eager to start this, and we're kind of off and running with the production of our news stories. So the expectations are high, and I think uh, we have the right people in this class to have a successful newscast. Oh, most, most definitely. I think that we are all like such good friends that it's so easy for us to just pick up a camera and kind of go film with whoever it is that we really want to. So I think that any of us could really be partners and we could still come up with really good stuff. We'll do an expert job uh, reporting what needs to be reported. Myself and the rest of the Web City News crew are very excited to bring you more. My name is Bailey Cloyd and this is Web City News. I must say, Bailey is so right. I absolutely enjoy news class. So thanks for that addition, Bailey. One of the new teachers here is Mrs. Jiroge, the choir teacher who has joined us here at the high school from the junior high. Here's Brody Corsi with all the right notes. With several competitions and countless rehearsals, Web City Singers and Bella Voce are working hard to entertain. This theme is a dream to a nightmare type thing. It starts out kind of creepy and we mesh towards a more sweet, beautiful ballad thing. thing. And then we move on to being creepy again. So it's a really neat nightmare to a dream theme with songs that are recognizable, but a different twist to them. Boche is a girls' night out, and that's the cliche thing for a girls' group, but they are rocking it, and it's going to be a really fun, bright colored, neat show. So, I'd say it's a lot of hard work just because it is time consuming and it does require you to dance and sing at the same time, which isn't a simple process. But it takes a lot of fitness to be able to sing and dance the way that you should. So, we, we do work out and we do um, encourage you to be. I sat down with several members of Web City Singers who had some thoughts to share about this year's program. Well, we do have a new teacher, and this is actually my third choir teacher in high school, so we've been through a lot, but um, I feel like we have a really solid group this year. They all care a lot about it. We all share a lot of passions, and I think that we are all very excited and enthusiastic, and we're good at working together. 
Um, this year we're a lot more on top of it. Um, it's, it's coming together a lot better. It's a lot more organized. There's a lot of new people this year because last year we had like 15 people graduate. And so it's been different because there's a lot of people that are learning things and it's new experiences for them. Web City singers and Bella Voce work hard on their performances to entertain you. With Web City High School News, I'm Brody Corsi. Not only are there exciting things going on here at Web City High, but there are also new renovations going on across town at Missouri Southern. We sent Lindsay Brody and Skylar Link to check it out. Hi, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Skylar. And we are getting ready to go interview a few people at the MSSU campus about the new renovations and Lion that was just put in. Come on, let's go. Uh, in the building, we had all brand new floors. They ripped up all of the old paint um, and repainted everything. And then they threw out a bunch of old furniture from probably the early 1970s and replaced it with all new furniture that was just recently uh, built over the summer. Yes, it really was necessary for three reasons. One is that some of the material is actually getting old enough to be possibly dangerous. And then secondly, I think it was necessary because our, we have some of the best students in the region here and we want to create an environment that matches their competency. And then uh, lastly, it's a very competitive world out there and, and when a student comes to choose a university, he wants to choose one that reflects an environment in which they can envision themselves. Yes, Reynolds Hall was one of the oldest buildings on Missouri Southern's campus. A lot of the other buildings have undergone renovations similar to what we had happen this summer. And so it was definitely our turn and it looks much better now. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Web City News. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.